Hello, my name is Ken, K-E-N. In this video, I will let you show you the lecture line. So, what is a lecture line? Lecture line, if you want to write more notes above the staff or below the staff, you need to add extra lines. And those extra lines we call lecture lines. Very easy, right? So, how do they look? For example, I have the staff here. Let me draw the treble clef. All right. Now, I have the note above the staff, like this, this note. And this note is G or son. If you don't know how I recognize the note names, please watch my video before. I put the link in the description for you. Okay. So this is G or son. If I want to write the note higher than that, that means, uh, for example, I write a or la, all right? How do I write? Can I just write like this? No, I cannot because actually it looks the same. It's just still above the stuff, right? Or how can I, I separate this G, A, or another note. For example, I have the C here, C or Do. How can I recognize, right? Because it's above the stuff. If I make it smaller, you see, smaller, like here, cannot, cannot tell which one is La, which one is A, if I don't write the names on. I just write the note, for example. How do you know what it is? Right? You cannot tell. So that means we need extra line or lateral lines. Now, if I want, if I want to write an A or La, Okay, so I need a lecture line here, right above the G is la, right? So I have a lecture line first, and then I put the note on that line. So this is A or la. And then I have B here, B here, and then I have C here. So this is C or Do. Very easy, right? That's how we need extra lines or lateral lines. Lateral line. Okay. We need five lines above the staff and five lines below the staff. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right? And how do we draw a lateral line? Very easy. Just remember, make the line length long enough to fit the notes. Okay. For example, I have a note big like this. So we need an extra line or lateral line enough to fit in. Right. We don't make very small one. For example, we have a note big like this. We don't make a small, very small line, or we we don't make very long lines. For example, the notes big like this, and we draw a very long one. We don't need just enough to look right. Now, let's say if I write the notes here, right, and I make the line is too long. You see, it's not balanced. It's not balanced with the note. And it's made, you know, mess your eyes. You look at the score, you look at the notes, and you may, you know, get confused how to read the notes easily. For example, I have all the notes here. All the notes here. Right? It's always have the line above. It doesn't make sense. Unnecessary. So that enough to the notes only. Very easy. All right. And how do we count the lateral lines? Like in my previous video, I already show you how to count the stuff. Let me remind again. Um, we have five lines 
of the star, right? So lines 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's try the same. We count 5 lines, but we not always from the bottom to the top. We need to count from the staff out, okay? From the staff outward. For example, if the lateral lines are above the staff, I have five lines. So we need to count from the staff out. That means we count from here. One, two, three, four, and five. If this, the lateral lines below the staff, one, two, three, four, five. We don't count from the bottom to the top. We count from the staff out. Okay? That means we need to count like this. One, two, three, four, five. To make it easier, if, uh, if the lines, lateral lines above the staff, we need to count up for above. If the lateral lines are below the staff, we need to count down. Below is down. Above, up. Very easy, right? Very easy, right? So, if you see that easy, just give me the thumb up and share that to other people so they can learn music for free as well. And remember to subscribe and be a membership of my channel. This will be thankful for me. And most of the common mistake when we write the lecture lines is that the first one is the length are not equal. Okay, for example, the length is too long or too short. The notice is here, the length is too short. The length is too long, or the length is not together with the note, all right? Or the lines is not together with the note. Another mistake is that the lines are not equal. If you write the note like this, for example, I have an, an E above the staff, E or me. If I have a me, so that's um, the note here, one, two, and three. So this note, you see? I try to make all the lines equal in length and the space between also equal. So if you write some longer, some very short, doesn't look nice, right? That's a second mistake. And the space on, on also like this. See, very hard to look, very hard to look. That's a common mistake. Very easy, right? And another mistake is that very important for new music learner is that um, we write unnecessary line. For example, I have the note here. And then you have extra one. Actually, this extra we don't need. We don't need. No, we don't need extra. Just enough, okay? And this is G or so below the staff, like that. All right. Again, if I write the note, for example, B, I just have this only. So this is B or T below the staff. And we don't need this. This is a mistake. Right? Now, in summary, let your lines or the extra lines to have extra notes above the staff or below the staff. Like we have, uh, we have some extended notes, all right? And we usually use maximum five lateral lines above and five lateral lines below the staff, very easy. And we count the lateral lines from the staff out. Okay, if the lateral lines above the staff, we count up. If the lateral lines below the staff, we count down. And we don't have some common mistakes like the line is too short, the line is too long, the line is not together with, together with the notes. And the lines like, look very messy and not equally balanced. And that's all for the lateral lines. Thank you very much for watching. If you see this is value for you and helpful, please surprise, share, and give me the thumb up or you can support me by being a membership of my channel. Thank you very much. And I put my information below at the description. Thank you very much. Bye-bye and see you in next video.